Hello everyone, I appreciate you guys coming to the Background Bible Sermon, where you can put this in the background, or you can take notes along with me. Today we'll be going through James 1, 2, and if you want to see James 1, I'm going to put it in a playlist so that uh, people that didn't get a chance to see it when I uploaded it can go back and listen to it. Okay, so let's just get right into it. James 1, 2. Count it all joy, my brothers, when you meet trials of various kinds, for you know that the testing of your faith produces steadfastness. So we're going to look at this from two different angles. We're going to look at this from the application to our lives, and we're also going to look at this, um, how it applied to the Jewish Christians of that day. So we must remember that these were essentially Jewish Christians on the run that were both being persecuted and treated horribly by the Romans <clears throat> and by the, the traditional Jews. They were hated by both. And the reason they were hated by both is, first of all, they're hated by traditional Jews that wanted to stay under the Mosaic Covenant because they were going against everything that was in their history. They were going against all the man-made rules. They believed in the Messiah. They believed that he came and they believed that he rose from the dead and none of the rest of the traditional Jews believed that. So they were hated by the Jews. They were hated by the Romans because they were causing, they were causing um, just, just chaos between the, the two groups. And the Romans just wanted to keep everything quiet. They didn't want any anybody to um, cause any disturbance. So they were all about the Jews practicing the right of, of religion. But now it was just chaos because there was essentially a new religion, a true religion uh, that was on the rise. So they were being treated horribly by both. So we have to look at this in the cultural backgrounds context. So they were being treated so bad. So let's read it again. Count it all joy, my brothers, when you meet trials of various kinds, for you know that the testing of your faith produces steadfastness. He wrote this because they were going through trials of various kinds. Horrible trials. Way worse trials than we are going through today. They were going through maybe deaths in their family. They were going through trials where they didn't have any money. They were going through trials where they were being treated horribly by almost everybody because they were the lowest on the totem pole. So these people would have been going through so many trials, but what does James say? He doesn't say, he doesn't even say, uh, like, you guys can do this, you know, um, I'll be praying for you. But he says, count it as joy. Count it as joy, brothers, when you meet trials, because James was looking at this from the right world view. He was looking at this from picking up your cross and suffering with Christ. And just like the verse says, he was looking at it as these trials will grow and they will they will be a testing of your faith. So when they go through all these trials, he wanted them to count it all joy because it would produce steadfastness or growth in their faith. Okay, so let's look at some examples of this. So, like my little POW symbol. So, POW, a couple people got, excuse me, a couple people got, uh, a couple apostles I got beaten up over this, over this incident. And, not over this exact incident, but they, they, uh, they counted it joy when they went through trials. First was Paul and Silas. If you remember in Acts 16, 25, they were severely flogged, severely flogged and thrown into prison where they sang songs and praised the Lord. Think about that. Severely flogged because they knew that they were suffering for Christ. They were picking up their cross and it was growing. It was growing their faith. Secondly, right here, this circled A, this is the apostles. If we remember, they talked to the Sanhedrin. Sanhedrin uh, like warned them to stop using Jesus' name and uh, just really stop spreading uh, the news that they were that they were um, proclaiming. So they were beaten up and then thrown out. And remember, right after they were thrown out, they started praising the Lord because they knew that they were standing for what was true, what was right, that it would produce steadfastness in their faith, and that they were serving. They were servants of Christ. They were suffering for Christ. 
another one in the Old Testament. We remember that Job was a man of God and the terrible things that he went through. Now, he didn't outright praise the Lord like Paul and Silas and these apostles did, but his testing produced steadfast, massive steadfastness. He went from a, from a man of God to even a greater man of God because his horrible trials produced steadfastness. Okay, so how does this apply to us? So what we need to understand is that we don't need to go through death like Job. We don't need a death in the family. We don't need to be severely flogged. We don't need to be beat up like the apostles. Because most of the time, that's not the type of trials that we're going through. Trials that we're going through can be very, very minuscule compared to those. This can be not gossiping while you're, <clears throat> while you're at work. This can be just changing how you view others uh, in your mind. And, you know, uh, Romans 12, 2. We can, these are minuscule uh, things compared to what they went through. But we must, we must count it all joy. Because mount it all joy. Because these trials will help us grow our faith or have steadfastness. So example of this, let's just go with the gossip. The less you gossip, the less you're going to want to gossip. Just like playing an instrument, it's just like playing a sport. You're going to train your mind to grow in your trials. And if you really look at it, I feel like some of these, some of these, we can actually have a joy that's more related to happiness. Even with myself, and I bet you guys have experienced this, let's say a coworker is coming up and they want to gossip, and you take joy in holding fast to what you know is true, and you don't, you don't gossip with them. I think this is a, a joyful, a joyful experience because you know that first of all you're 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 obeying the word of God, but second of all you're producing steadfastness in your faith. You're growing in your faith. So this is the application that we can take today to just grow in our faith with all of the major or small trials that we go through on a daily basis. All right, guys, I appreciate you listening to the Background Bible sermon, and I hope that you guys will continue to tune in as I will continue to upload these every single Thursday. I hope you guys learned a lot. I know I did while studying, and I hope you guys have a blessed rest of your day. All right, bye.